assalamu alaikum guys in this video we are going to create a new project of uh, c sharp and uh, in 2025 we are going to start from zero again we will create a uh, emulator bypass exe emulator bypass we will fix game loop ex safe environment problem and then we will find some offsets of emulator bypass related from libanox and libue4 as well and uh, we will patch them using our exe bypass so i will just copy paste codes okay i will copy codes from my old projects in this new project and i will share the project with you i will share the codes with you i am not going to write the each and every code for you here like a single line and then next line and then next line and please don't listen those fellows who ask you to like learn c plus plus and learn reversing and learn then like then you don't know what to do next like how to how you can replace the offsets how you can create hooks how, how can you like how can you um, bypass the emulator detection even like how you can fix bands you you don't know like if, if you learn c plus plus they will not teach you like <laughs> these things so either it is it is copy pasting but it's not like that you you need to copy paste you need to understand it you need to modify it according to your using your brain in future like you you have to use your mind also like it's not like a, a copying abc from left to right and all done no it's not it will not done you will need to use your own mind also you will need to be creative now let's create a new project of uh, c sharp we will uh, in this uh, series of uh, videos we will also create a c plus uh, c plus plus project also like we will create a c plus plus bypass exe bypass and then c plus plus hooks and everything and uh, exe bypass will be in c sharp and the hooks will be in c plus plus we will patch offsets we will replace aobs from our uh, exe c sharp exe and c plus plus exe later uh, in in future in next uh, video series we will uh, move towards uh, hooks methods and uh, everything i will also uh, tell you uh, reversing in ida like libanox how you can uh, reverse emulator <coughs> emulator detection related functions and uh, the other functions and uh, we will also uh, reverse the other functions that are directly related to the detection of emulator bypass or the detection of the cheats detection of the actually detection of the emulator bypass like uh, the user is using uh, det emulator detection bypass or not and all that all these things we will learn in this whole series and if anyone wants to learn personally he can uh, contact me and uh, he can by a paid course from me I, in that i teach uh, with ultra viewer or team viewer in users pc and i teach him like as i am teaching here but some new stuff will also be uh, teached to him okay let's create a new project <coughs> In this, uh, we will start from C Sharp EXE project, and later, uh, after completing this project, we will create a C plus plus project also. Uh, you need to create .NET framework Windows form app, uh, Windows form app .NET framework project. Bypass C Sharp. I will uh, share the codes of the project and uh, i will share the project at the end like uh, in the last video of this series i will not share the project uh, now in this video i will share only the codes you will need to watch the video and implement the codes in your project if you face any kind of errors you can ask in comments i will reply inshallah <music> Подарим бургер, фонтанчик с черным дельфином И в жизни видеть лишь раз его доводилось Всем тем, кто проходили его мимо Фонтанчик с черным дельфином Представьте, браты, что есть стены у дельфина Коридоры длинные, окна, решетка, лепнина In this video we are just uh, going to start the emulator and uh, start the game And in next video we will uh, fix the game loop EX safe environment problem 
and uh, in the next video later we will find offsets and replacing and all that step by step we will uh, go step by step so you can learn easily here we need just two buttons uh, for now we will only work in game loop ex we will not start the game loop en but that's also easy like there you need to drag and drop two buttons copy paste okay <laughs> copy first button and paste and this will be our start emulator <coughs> and this will be uh, i will also teach you the how to how to design a good ui in c sharp but later for now we will just go through like this and we can also uh, add a label to show the status like what's happening emulator is started or not and all these kind of things Okay, uh, I am not going to write the whole code because I, do, I don't have enough time for here, here we need to put the start emulator course and we will only start the emulator EX I already have uh, separated start emulator course I will tell you why we what we are doing in these codes and uh, how these are working for your understanding here um, we need to remove this okay so in in these codes uh, first we are uh, implementing this try uh, try condition like for example if our bypass is not able to get this directory or is not able to start the process android emulator ex it will give a error exceptional error so if we are using this try condition we can <coughs> we can uh, get the error here like it will show us the emulator is not found or any any other exceptional error we can show here section exception ex and we can show this exception ex error in our message box but we are we are not going to do that uh, we do not uh, need to do that because it's not uh, necessary uh, like if if our bypass will not be able to start the emulator it will just show uh, it will tell us that emulator is not found or something like start it manually and otherwise it will be started and more often it will be started because if emulator is installed in your PC it will be started and uh, how we are getting the path of emulator we are getting the path of emulator ex from registry okay we are getting the path from here registry like this is the path i already have sorry you can uh, get you can work in any game like any game open the registry local user local machine and software and go to that uh, emulator or software that you are that you want to start so you can get the path from here i am getting the path uh, of ui and install path install path uh, is the program files gx game assistant ui and in this folder then we have this in, in install path path we have this android emulator ex.exe and we are starting it as minus vm 100 and it will be started without any kind of error okay now i hope you you understood like how we are getting the directory from uh, registry and uh, in that directory we are uh, starting this android emulator ex.exe okay <coughs> and we can also like if you want to start the uh, game loop en android emulator en you just need to copy this line paste it here and just change it here ex 
uh, instead of ex you can write en like this is for game loop en uh, in this uh, like uh, you can add a hair checkbox like if game loop ex is selected game loop ex will start if game loop en is selected game loop en will start but we are not going to do that because we will only work in game loop ex okay this these are the codes of uh, starting emulator now uh, there's no need of return this okay we are uh, now we need to start the game here <coughs> To start the game we need the uh, adb we need to use the adb shell commands and we will need adb exe in this present in the same folder where the bypass exe is present for now uh, we will copy the start game course i will tell you how these are working in this we are uh, creating a process cmd exe okay we are creating it uh, with these uh, arguments like create no window okay uh, window will not be created the process will be hidden okay in this cmd we are running these commands adb uh, we can like we can uh, run other commands also like for now we need to run adb commands to start the game for that we need to first kill server then start server then we need to connect uh, with the devices available available devices and then this adb command is to start the game okay it's uh, for global com.tensor.ig this is the actually package name and uh, this is for global later we will add for uh, vietnam taiwan and korean as well after successful game start it will wait for all these commands to be run okay first this will run this will run when all these commands will be run successfully then it will move towards this status dot expand your other codes if you add here okay now our this project is like start emulator and start game is ready and it will work fine you can go to bypass directory here bin debug here this is your bypass c sharp exe you can rename it throw here From here you can uh, change its name uh, from here and you can also change uh, the other other assembly info like its description configuration company product copyright trademark culture etc like you can do anything now it's ready let's run it now it, it will not uh, require the admin admin uh, permissions we will add the codes uh, for uh, like we will add some codes in it then it will require the admin permissions to run for now we will do it manually run as admin now let's start emulator emulator will be started okay emulator is started now uh, to start the game we need to put the adb files here for that you will just need two adb files Mm. just a second let me okay these are the two adb files you will need we will need to start the game for now if we start if we will start the game we will face that error safe environment is needed we will fix that error in our next video i will upload today okay it is started start the game okay as you can see it is it uh, like immovable like we cannot move it when this button is pressed now now it is movable and our game is started but uh, we are getting the safe environment is required to run this game but this is not the problem okay we will fix it and we will fix also this stuck issue like when we press start game and our ui is stuck we will fix this issue also in next videos okay for now let's close everything and uh, wait for my next video Goodbye, take care.